You guys might just have to deal with the Christmas lights. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey, what's up? I was having trouble figuring out what I wanted to vlog today or what video I wanted to do today. Cause I didn't know if I wanted to do vlog style or if I just wanted to do like a get ready with me. And I was really leaning towards get ready with me, but that's boring. I don't want to do that. I'm not in the mood to like sit, talk and do my makeup. I haven't been for some time now, so we're not gonna do that. But what I have decided that I wanted to do today is share with you guys my all time, not all time, but my go-to smoothie recipe that I've been having every day in the morning after I drink my lemon water. It is the best. And it's so simple, so quick and easy. The thing is, it's not hard. I don't add like, black seed, chia seeds, supplements, powders. I don't do much of that these days just because I try and stick to simplicity, all right? I, as much as I would love to have those supplements, I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm just too lazy to like do my research by them, you know? Like, of course there are supplements that you should take, but I'm, I'm too lazy quite frankly, and I stopped using protein powder. Nothing wrong with the protein powder that I used. Blessed protein powder, it's plant-based. I don't know if my code still works, but if you want, you can try it. I'll leave it on the screen. What was I saying? Uh, yeah, I don't use pro I don't use anything. I just use juice and fruit <laughs> and sometimes vegetables, but I don't have any spinach or anything with me. So I wanna show you guys my smoothie. I already did my whole workout situation today so i figured always show you guys the um whoa. i always show you guys the workout portion and like what i'm doing errands why should i take this off <laughs> it was keeping me warm jumpsuit by the way it's from aritzia it's really cute I didn't wear it today to work out, but I'm wearing it to lounge around in the house with. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, now I want to show you guys post-routine coming home. Minus lemon water, because you guys know I already do that anyways. Wow, I just realized the one ingredient that I've been using a lot, bananas, I don't have any more. I ate the last one before my workout. So this is pointless because that was the whole point. Bananas just make, is this an awkward angle? I feel like it is. This is kind of a better angle, but it's still like the lighting's a little off. Yeah, so I guess this, this is pointless. But I guess this is your reminder to drink smoothies every day. I love fruit personally, and I love sweet things. I have a sweet tooth, that's one thing. If you didn't know that, now you know that about me. I have a very sweet tooth. This is one way to get me to stop <laughs> eating candy, especially around this time of the month, because it's my time of the month. Cheers. I'll tell you guys my go-to smoothie thing smoothie recipe I usually put orange juice controversial okay because in my TikToks if you go back on my smoothie recipe TikToks you will see I said I've been trying to stay away from fruit juices because it's a lot of sugar not because I mean <laughs> dude do I sound stupid Okay, fruit has a lot of sugar, we know that. What I'm saying is orange juice and all these other juices, you never really know what else they put inside the packaging. It could be added sugars, we don't want that. Especially orange juice, so I said, I'm avoiding using orange juice, and here I am using orange juice. So if you're gonna take anything away from what I'm saying <laughs> versus what I'm doing, Listen to me, but don't do what I do, okay? 
If you want orange juice, sure. Is it the healthiest thing for you? Not necessarily, okay? That's what I'm saying, but for now, because all I have is orange juice, that's what I'm working with now. <laughs> then I put in some probiotic yogurt. You can use any probiotic yogurt brand of your choice. I would stay away from big brand yogurts that have a lot of sugar. You tend to wanna go for yogurt products that have very minimal ingredients. Your ingredients should only really have milk. Mine's from grass-fed cows, organic cream, powder and bacteria milk powder and bacteria this is what's in this one now choice is up to you i put vanilla personally i just feel like it's a safe choice to go with vanilla you can use plain you can use whatever you want just as long as it's not like the yogurts that have a bunch of sugars and you will know when you read the ingredients this makes all the difference too because probi yogurt, you're meant to have it as a probiotic, I wanna say supplement, but just something that helps for gut health. I personally love this brand. So if you wanna copy me and use this brand, go ahead. Olympic has really, really good probiotic yogurt and I will stand by that. But there's so many other ones that you can choose from. So I just eyeball it. I eyeball everything, okay? I don't use measurements. Um, this isn't a cooking class, okay? This is art. This is creativity. <laughs> Be creative with your smoothies. Why not? If you want to pour a heavy hand of orange juice, go ahead. If you want to put maybe four strawberries instead of three, go ahead. Who am I to say no? It's your creative intuition doing what you want to do with a smoothie. That is the art of smoothie making. Look at how beautiful mine looks. <laughs> um, yeah, this is all I got. The secret though, if you guys don't like bananas, you have to start liking bananas. I put bananas in my smoothie and I've never tasted a creamier smoothie in my life. Unfortunately, I don't have them, like I said, but makes all the difference. One banana. If you want it to be even more creamy, is that the right way of saying that? Would you say, would you say even more creamy or would you say creamier? Like, I don't, I don't know. You can freeze your bananas, put them in the freezer, duh, put them, put them in your smoothie. I don't do that. Again, lazy. It's the only thing I could, you know, chop it up to. I'm too lazy to peel the banana and put them in a plastic bag, put them in the freezer. I'm, I will get there. And I have been there before. Like there was a point in my life where I was in fact putting bananas in the freezer. I'm not there right now. Okay. <laughs> to be honest, I'm loving my life with the unfrozen banana at the moment in my smoothie. I don't know why I'm talking so much. <laughs> I'm talking so much about bananas that I don't have in my smoothie. Anyways, that's literally it. You can add anything else that you want to your smoothie. That's honestly the good thing about making a smoothie. You can put whatever you want in it. If you want to be healthy, you can add your powders, your vitamins, anything you want. I don't have that. So let's blend her up. Fun fact about me though. I don't know if I ever said this in... A YouTube video but I have said it on TikTok before I called myself a smoothie barista I used to work at a smoothie place all throughout university so humble brag I'm kind of a pro now let it blend <laughs> great angle I look crazy. I look like an ant. Now you're going to pour. All right. So <laughs> the next and final step to make sure that you have the best smoothie in the entire world is one drink out of a mason jar, any mason jar you have. This one's from Bulk Barn and a glass straw. Very important because it does not taste the same. 
I'm serious. To find my glass straws, you can find them in my Amazon storefront. I don't have an Amazon storefront, but if I did, those would be in there. It's not as much as I thought, and it's not looking as creamy because there's no banana. Wow, this setup is kind of bringing me back to my TikTok days when I would make smoothies on there. I stopped, I don't know why, because I stopped making smoothies. Um, I should bring it back though, but taste test. Mm. Still creamy, not as creamy as can be, but so good. So if you have a sweet tooth, honestly, just make yourself a smoothie because I guarantee you, those gummy bears, those sour keys, those Coca-Cola gummies, those are fire. All of those that you're craving, I promise you, you'll eat it and feel bad about yourself. But if you drink this, you'll feel good about yourself. That is my PSA of the day. Okay, why is this tripod literally impossible? Now the boring step. You have to wash your blender immediately because if you don't, it'll stay like this. Trust me. So I wash it immediately after. The lighting just changed. Don't be alarmed. I turned the light off. <laughs> Literally no one cares. I'm going to drink this and read my book and then update you guys if I do something later i've been staying in the house quite a bit except for to leave to go to the gym so we'll see what we vlog today look at can you tell my biceps are kind of coming in again i lost them for a little bit but i'm trying to gain uh, anyways okay where did i put okay so to end off this vlog because the lighting's getting bad the sun is setting it's like 4 p.m I decided that I'm gonna try this new product on camera because why oh why not? I always get the NYX Precision Brow, I think that's what it's called, pencil, but they didn't have it at the drugstore that I went to. So I had to buy this, it's called fill and fill and fluff. So instead of one end having a spoolie, it literally has like a little I don't even know, like a brush, which I've never seen before. About me, I have to do my brows. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I, I need a brow. So we're gonna try this. I find this so weird that there's no spoolie. I feel like, and I don't even have a spoolie with me, great, okay. We'll just figure it out with this brush odd but i got in the shade espresso which is the shade that i normally get for all of my brow products so i'm familiar with the shade the applicator is a little bit thicker which i don't know if i love or hate yet and with the spoolie i would usually you know brush it out with this thing i feel like it makes the the product look smudgy and weird. So I don't know how I feel about this one here. I am a freak when it comes to my brows. Someone's on my door. Um. <sighs> my mom from one of her coworkers. And the uh, post guy. Po Bro, what? The delivery guy came. So I'm going to have to make do with this and then actually have a spoolie next to me to brush out the product so it looks like good. It looks fine in the camera right now, but that's what we're going to have to do. Don't love it, but anything... Wow, that's a lie. <laughs> I was going to say anything next. 
I have been using the Precision Brow. I think that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. NYX brow product for years. Years and years and years. Like, it's crazy. I've been using it. So, I usually like NYX products. I don't love this, but she is usable. You know? Maybe I'm just precise with my brows and, like, I like my brows a certain way. But... They look fine for the time being. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. It's a really short video today, but I didn't do much. So hopefully you guys <laughs> got some um, recommendations or you guys are going to try making your own smoothies from now on. If you want to try out the NYX product, out of everything, I recommend the Precision Brow. So being said thank you guys so much for watching my video i will see you guys in the next video hopefully with more fun things going on so don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video toodles